All right, this is going to be an example of solving a quadratic equation by factoring. And this is kind of one of the more, to me, it's one of the, it's kind of the fundamental case, simply because the coefficient on the m squared is a 1. And in that case, what we need is we need two numbers. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply. to negative 35, but add to the value, they have to add up to the coefficient in front of the linear term, the term to the first power, which is just, uh, in this case, positive 2. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 35, but add up to positive 2. So to get m squared, we're going to use an m and an m, an m and an m. Um, and whatever numbers uh, satisfy this requirement, that's what we're going to put in each, we'll put one in each set of parentheses. So, okay, to get uh, 35, and I guess to get negative 35, um, you know, we could use some combination of 1 and 35. You know, one of them will have to be positive, one will have to be negative. But in either case, I don't see how that's possibly going to add up to positive 2. Um, how about some combination of 5 and 7? Well, I guess if we made the 7 positive and the 5 negative, those would certainly multiply to negative 35, but add up to positive 2. So those are going to be our candidates. We'll have m minus 5, m plus 7. That's how the left side factors. So we'll set that equal to 0. And now once we, once we have our equation factored, we just take each factor, set it equal to 0, and solve. So the first equation, we can simply add 5 to both sides. We'll get m equals 5. And if we subtract 7 from the second equation, we'll simply get m equals negative 7. And that will be our other solution. So our two solutions here are m equals 5 and m equals negative 7.